It's early October and it doesn't look at all like winter here today. I think it's going to be in the lower 80s. But winter is coming, so I wanted to talk to you about what you need to do uh, to take care of your potted lilies in the winter. Because uh, if you get a cold winter like we do, you will need to protect them uh, or they will potentially die. So I got some tips on that. So we don't grow a lot of daylilies in pots. Uh, this is a random daylily that for some reason got potted up. It's probably been 20 years ago. Uh, it survives with uh, pretty much no care over here at our display garden, just off to the side. Um, so it doesn't look great because it's had no care for the last 20 years. But as you can see, it's alive and it does bloom every summer and looks good. Um, so one of the things I'll point out on this, this is a pretty good sized pot, probably at least a couple foot, or more or less, I mean 18 inches to a couple foot in diameter. So you're going to want to get a big pot for a potted daylily because uh, you know they just need room. They're going to they're going to clump up and get bigger, and uh, so you, you're going to need something probably at least 18 inches, I would say. Um, and then as you're selecting varieties, you may want to pick something that's perhaps a little smaller stature plant. Uh, some of the ones with big blooms oftentimes have bigger plants. It's not always the case, but oftentimes smaller blooms have smaller stature plants. A smaller stature plant is probably going to fit better in a pot. You get a big big plant in here, it's going to grow and fill it up. Um, you know, sooner and you're going to have to move it or it's not going to do well because it's getting pot bound. So there are a few things that you need to be aware of growing daylilies in pots that you don't have to worry about if they're growing in the ground. Uh, I did want to mention we're here at our uh, display garden shooting this video. It's uh, early part of October. You'll notice all the uh, foliage is short and trimmed off. Uh, we, we trim it all off uh, after bloom season. Uh, if you noticed in the pot that was trimmed off as well. That's why it looked kind of jagged like that. Uh, so daylilies in pots, uh, the, the main thing you really have to do with those is make sure they get plenty of water through the summer because they'll dry out. Even every day in warm, warm areas you're going to need to water those. And then the other thing that you have to do with daylilies in pots and what I really want to talk about today in particular was winter care uh, for potted daylilies. Uh, if you live in an area that gets a cold winter, uh, then you're, go you're going to have to protect your daylilies because they will freeze and die in a pot. Um, the challenge you get with potted daylilies, or really any potted plant, is that uh, you, you have air all the way around. So it can freeze the root zone, right? If they're in the ground, the roots are protected you know, in the soil. But uh, you know, in a pot, you've got air all the way around it, they will freeze and die. So I'm going to talk about uh, some things you can do to help uh, make sure that doesn't happen to your daylilies. So the first option you have for protecting your daylilies, potted daylilies over the winter, would be uh, if you happen to have a greenhouse or a cold frame, obviously that's a great choice. Uh, that's what we do for the daylilies that we do pot up. We do pot up some that we sell here at the, at the festival in the summer. Uh, so we put them in an unheated cold frame, right? So it's just covered with plastic uh, and not heated, and those do fine in that. So that'd be your first choice if you happen to have access to that. All right, so if you don't have access to a greenhouse or a cold frame, the second option would be to find some protected uh, uh, building or whatnot that you could put them in. You know, a garage or a garden shed. Uh, if you've got something like that that you feel is going to stay a little bit warmer over the winter, you know, that's, if it's an area that's going to get just as cold as the outside, well, that doesn't help. Um, but uh, if you've got, a, like I said, a garden, garden shed or a garage, something like that to put them in over the winter. The third thing you could try uh, to protect your potted dailies over the winter is to push them up against the foundation of your house. Um, and when I say push them up against, push the pots up, to, up against the foundation, what I have in mind is you're going to push the pots together. Right? So they're going to be up against each other, up against the foundation of your house where it's a little bit protected. And uh, the benefit of pushing the pots together is that you don't have the air around them. Right? So then what you have to do, or would want to do, is put some protection around the outside edge of that that group of potted daylilies, you know, maybe some mulch, um, just any other material you think that would be a good insulator. Um, and you're not really looking to do this necessarily on top of the pots, it wouldn't hurt to put some on top, but really around the edge of your pots, because that's where you're, you're getting the, the cold air freezing the roots inside the, uh, the, the pot itself, inside the soil. Now obviously if you live in the south, you don't have to worry about this, your daylilies aren't going to freeze in pots. Uh, but for you, those of you in the north, I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you have more questions or are interested in uh, daylilies in pots, we shot another video this summer, so you can check that one out. Um, and we've grown daylilies a long time. We got into daylilies because we enjoyed them. So if you have any questions, we would love to talk to you about daylilies. You can either put in the comments below or visit our website uh, for all our contact information. Thanks.